Hello and welcome to another episode of Jim the Editor Plays, where we are playing through our randomized version of Pokemon Fire Red. In addition to the randomizedness, we're also playing under the King's Lock rules. Now, last episode we made it through Rock Tunnel, and we've arrived in Lavender Town. Now, there are a few things I'd like to do down here, but I think first of all, you need to check out some of these houses. Those rocket doctors. This is a big day. In fact, we could call it Durf's name day. Where he finally gets his real name. They win, there we go! Happy name day, Durf! Yay! It's definitely a better name than it was before. What a day! Alright, so now that we've done that, we can't go into Lavender Tower, we know that. But what we can do is go down here and onto Route 12. Now, hopefully everyone knows what that means. What it means is that I have to stop the music here for a little bit. Shuffle some cards. And it's come up with an 8. Now, 8 means that we have to put the Pokemon that's been with us the longest into the PC. Now, I think... That might be Dragoon. It's definitely not Rick. Fred was an early catch. Durf is safe. Doug was on that route as well. Who did I catch first? Was it Dragoon or Doug? I think it was Dragoon. So, unfortunately, that means Dragoon gets chucked in a box. But what it does mean is that we can be joined again by... Actually, we can be joined for the first time ever by King Egbert. Our Execute that we caught in Rock Tunnel. So I guess it swings and roundabouts. I'm a little disappointed about Dragoon, but Dragoon wasn't going to evolve anyway, so that's short term, no big deal. Whereas we can level King Eggbird up a little bit and then evolve him when we get to sell it on City. Now let's look at his stats and his moves. Oh, he's got pickup as well, just like Krusty. Some okay special attack, I suppose. Constrict, Arm Thrust, Fissure, and Comet Punch. So we can use all of those because none of them are Stab. So no big deal there. Alright. Well, that was a little bit of a disappointing card. Now, Route 8. I assume that's a new route. Let's go check in the, um... On the town map. Where have we been? Route 1, Route 22, Route 2, Virgin Forest Digger Cave, Route 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 7 and 8, a new, yep. So that means another new card. So let's open up this randomizer once more. Randomize again, and it is a jack. Now, what a jack means is that I have to use, uh, teach anyone who can learn a new move a new move using our TM case. Well, that's kind of annoying because there are some of these that I was looking forward to saving. Um, all right, see, so poison tail. Who can learn poison tail? 
Alright, well, I'm going to teach this to... Let's teach it to Doug. Wish I could teach it a flash. Um... Let's go over Fire Blast. We know Doug's um, special is not that good. And PP is not a strong point of my team as we discovered last time. Alright, so that's one down. Now Will O Wisp. Everyone can learn Will O Wisp. Um. Who's going to benefit from it the most? Uh, let's give it to King Egbert. Oh wait, what? Oh, not able. Can't read. Shadow Ball. Oh, let's give that to Rick so that he has another physical move from the pure power. Put it over Water Pulse. There we go. So that's two down. Vine Whip. Well, Fred couldn't use that if we taught it to him. Horn Attack. Okay. So these two moves, Shadow Ball and Height and Jump Kick, will work with Dragon Dance. Dragon Claw, ironically, does not. Horn Attack would. So let's um check it over Dragon Claw. Harder than it, harder than it looks. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's have a thunderbolt in death. And we can put it over iron defense, I think. Good work, Def. So how many down is that? You've learned a new move, you've learned a new move, you've so two left. Alright, can you Egbert? Maybe they're digging King Egbert. Let's put it over fissure because I mean one hit KO moves. That just leaves Fred, right? And we said that Fred could learn Will O Wisp. If we take it over Iron Defense as well, that way he can choose to use Toxic or Will O Wisp before he traps people in. And that's that Jack done. Whew. Kind of, kind of rough. I was looking forward to saving some of those um, TMs, but we can head back up here and see what King Egbert now has. Try and get him up level with everyone else in the party. All right, a Trico. And we don't really have anything to hit it, and we're four levels below, so let's switch him out. We can have Durf on his name day! Ooh. Good work, Durf. Well avoided. 
Oh, whoops. I, I just saw that it had flash fire. Why would I use fire spin? That's so dumb. Especially when I had another decent option. Now we're through. This time we can use Fire Spin. Ah, great work, Def. No, oh, and he just gained a level on his name day. Look at that, man. So proud of you. Alright, so that's one of the trainers down. Let's see what this rock has uh, got up his or her sleeve. Her sleeve. Alright, Combuskin. Let's try a dig here. Okay, not hitting nearly as hard as I would have hoped. But then Sing doesn't hit very hard either. Ow, that's going to hurt a lot. Yeah. Sorry, gang, but... Alright, um... Let's get Rick out there. He can throw some rocks. Then we can run back to the Pokemon Center and... get King Eggbit back up. Up and running. We're really not having good luck with these cards that we're drawing on roots, by the way. Like, I would have hoped by now we would have drawn a 10. And we would have had been able to return some of our, um... Our old favourites to the party, because we've had that all, the all-male party for a long time. Since Mount Moon. I don't want to get rid of all of them. I, I mean, I, let's be honest. I just want Squishy back. Just want Squishy back. Dun, 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 dun. Just got to believe in the heart of the cards. Or is that a different franchise? Something about a children's card game, right? All right, King Eggbit. Let's see what you got. Let's get us through here, mate. Designer Cammy with her Geodude. Arm thrust could have been a good move here as well. Now that I think about it. I mean, oh, of course it has flame body. Of course it does. Wait. What's King Egbert using as its arms? His arms, rather. In order to use arm thrust. Is he, like, thrusting his faces? With this burn, we're going to have to switch out here. Um, get Brian out, and he can high jump kick this course alone into submission. Or just regular jump kick, rather. Good work, Brian. And one more rocker, and then we're done with this route. you out now. Uh, get Brian to deal with this. Even though Brian no longer has his move for dealing with dragons. It'll still be fine. Ooh, extreme speed. Really 
sad I don't have a Bagon after its cosmic power, soft boiled, and now extreme speed that we've seen. Ah, oh, good work, Egbert, up one level. Alright, well. Yeah, nailed it. Great work, Brian. but has not picked anything up yet. Alright, let's head down to the Pokemon Center, heal up. Hmm. And now we'll head on to Route 8. Of course we drew... This is where we drew the Jap card, so... Can't catch anything here. Unfortunately. Rich Kid Jill. Bring it. Well, there's not really much you can do here, Egbert. Oh, and that really hurt. And that AI is better than I thought it would be. Damn Duskull. Let's get Brian onto him. Shadow Ball Brian, destroy him. There we go. I suppose Brian's actually going to be the next one in our party to evolve, and or at least until we kind of figure out what to do with Eggbit and when we when and if we want to evolve him. I'm leaning on the sooner rather than later. Oh damn! Damn that defense. From this ghastly. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm leaning on sooner rather than later for, for Egbert because his stats are uh, a little on the low side. So we may even do that next episode when we get to Celadon. But there is plenty to do in Celadon. What Clefairy? Damn it, rich kid Joe. <laughs> Schoolgirl Anne. Nice. That's all I have to say. This is nice. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, come on, Eggbit. You're not doing your royal duty. Oh, yep. Okay, great. See what I mean about Eggbit's stats? Definitely need some changing. Well, rather than... Well, not there. Not in the key items pocket either. But rather than switching him out, why don't I just use a super potion on him? That way he actually will get the full experience here and hopefully will be better. Oh, that's not the button I wanted to press either. Don't flinch. Oh, jeez. Hey, hit more than twice. Hit more than twice. Dang. Whew. Lucky. Skin of our teeth and all that. Ah, oh, and there you go, Egbert. Yeah, special defense is not great. Well, we know that you can deal with this. We just need you back on full health now, Egbert. An arm thrust away at this arrow. Ooh, again, not the button I was supposed to press. Let's go, come on, arm thrust. Ah, oh, really? That it's four times. Damn it, Egbert. One more, one more, one more. Ah, oh, boo. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot too. Damn it, Egbert. Come on, come on. Whew. As long as he doesn't have Protect here, we should be fine. Well, that was lucky. 
definitely leaning to the next episode we are going to evolve King Egbert because this is a struggle right now. I mean I know these Pokemon are significant levels higher than him but still, I expect better from my team. Alright, and you know what? I think I might leave it there for today. Uh, it hasn't been a particularly eventful episode. We drew two cards, but remember and sadly said goodbye to uh, our old friend Dragoon. But remember, it's a happy day because it's Durf's name day. Happy name day, Durf. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I hope to catch you next week. And next time, please leave a like. Uh, and a comment if you have anything to say and I'll hear from you soon see you later